three people on. Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel where we do a little bit of everything, daily life, family stuff, car content. Hopefully we'll start rolling in more soon. I know we had some Cars and Coffee Show content this week, or last week I mean. And uh, anyhow, today I wanted to come to you guys on this beautiful sunny day. It's a bit chilly. But it's beautiful out. We're gonna go run some errands. And uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about about my struggle that really didn't open up to me that I didn't I didn't see until recently. And that that struggle was that I just there are a lot of demons that I had. And I didn't even know it. I didn't even know it. And uh, this past year has really opened my eyes up to a lot of things. And as you guys have seen, I've grown with Christ, and I've grown with my with my faith and my trust in the in the Lord. And uh, by doing so, it's reflecting back on some things. It's kind of like, wow, how did I how did I make it through there? How did I make it through that? And the reason that I made it through that is because God's not done with me yet. There's something that I still have, I still have to accomplish that He wants me to finish, that He wants me to get done before He calls me home. And that, that is, it's, it's amazing to know that, to know that there's something. I don't know what, but when I'll know, I'll know. When I know, I'll know. If you know, you know. <laughs> Anyhow, um, what I what I was really looking back on, reflecting on, is how many times I had gone to church previously and really just struggled with it. I just I didn't feel like I belonged there. I didn't. I felt like everybody was staring at me when really they weren't. I feel like everybody had already judged me by the time I walked in. And that when I sat down, like, <clears throat> all eyes were on me. And the whole weight of the world just seemed to keep pushing and pushing me down. And it, it, it turns out those are just literally just demons dragging me down. Making me feel that way at church. And now that I don't have those demons, and now that they're gone... I don't, walking into church, we started going to church this year, and uh, I walk in and it's a whole different atmosphere now. I don't have that sense of being drugged down. I don't, I don't have that sense of anybody's looking at me. I don't have the, the feeling of not belonging. And I don't go to just one church, I actually go to two different churches. And mainly, the main reason for that is, one of them, I, I like to kind of change it up, but uh, I go to the Cowboy Church, and then I go to Wesleyan Church. And uh, that was mainly for the boys, but now I'm kind of like, you know, maybe, maybe we're just gonna go to one, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, going to churches now is so, so different. It's so eye-opening that I can see literally just years ago. And I, I mean years ago. Not like 10, but like 3, 4, 5 years ago. We tried to go to church when we were, when I was married. We tried to go to church and I just... It was. It wasn't for me. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. And it's because of those demons. It's because of those demons. And I finally, just last night, actually really realized that. And 
said something about it to, to some family members and they're like, yeah, yeah, I can, I, 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 I agree. I can see that. And so today I just kind of wanted to come out here and I wanted to, I wanted to express that to you guys because I feel like someone might be struggling with that too. They might have that feeling and it's, it, it really, it sucks and it's hard because you don't understand and you're like, oh, okay, I'm just not going to go. I just passed gas station again. I mean gas. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm kind of hoping to reach out to those that may be struggling with church or may have some other issues with church. I, honestly, I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. But if you do, don't be afraid to send me a message on Instagram. Shoot me an email. I'm pretty sure I've got my email in either descriptions of the videos or on my uh bio for my youtube channel so shoot me an email it's just arcticvet97 at gmail.com i might even have it updated to where it is trevor at arcticvet.com <laughs> getting that new email out there i hope but uh I, i'd like to hear from you i'd like to know um if there's any way i could help you uh because you know those I kind of wish that maybe somebody had seen that in me and could have said something, but when those demons have a hold of you, it's it's really hard to see. It's really hard to see. And even if you just need a prayer, just drop a comment down below saying, Sin I need a prayer. I need to be freed. And it it's absolutely it, it's still even today it's still mind-blowing that those years ago i was struggling that hard just to go to church and today i'm like i look forward to it. i'm like you know what let's go boys this is gonna be a great day we're gonna start off with this and here's the kicker they we watch we watch some uh movies like we just watched message of hope last night and uh the entire time the boys are like oh hey i know him i know that guy i remember that from church and that that's what just fills my heart is that my boys know god and they might even know him better than i do and it's amazing but since we're on e literally on e because i've kind of put off getting gas for too long I'm going to get, get some gasoline and uh, go about my day. And I wish you all a very wonderful day today. God bless you. We will catch you in the next video. Don't forget, smash that thumbs up. Drop those comments. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're struggling. Let me know if you're going through a good time. And as always, click that red subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that bell.